multiplication word problems. Math word problems made easy with Lucas. Hey friends, welcome back to Math Word Problems Made Easy with Lucas. You've already solved addition, subtraction, and even mixed word problems. But today, we're learning something brand new, multiplication word problems. Multiplication helps us find how many in total when we have equal groups. Let's jump in together. What is multiplication? Multiplication is just repeated addition. That means we're adding the same number again and again. For example, if you have three baskets and each basket has four apples, that's the same as four plus four plus four equals 12. Or we can say three times four equals 12. Much faster, right? Example 1. Cupcakes Let's solve our first word problem together. Emma baked three trays of cupcakes. Each tray has six cupcakes. How many cupcakes did Emma bake in all? Okay. We have three equal groups of six. That means three times six equals 18. Emma baked 18 cupcakes. So remember, when we see equal groups, we multiply. Clue words for multiplication. Let's talk about clue words. Some words in a problem tell us we need to multiply. Look for these, each, in every, groups of, rows of, sets of. When you see those, think multiplication. Example 2. Chairs and tables. Let's try another one. There are five tables in a classroom. Each table has four chairs. How many chairs are there all together? Hmm, I see the word each. That means multiply. Five times four equals 20. There are 20 chairs in the classroom. Practice time. Quick guess. Okay, let's play Guess the operation. I'll read a problem. You decide if it's multiplication or not. There are three plates with five cookies on each plate. Multiply. Three times five equals 15. I had ten marbles, and I lost three. That's subtraction, not multiplication. Four shelves with eight books on each shelf. Multiply. Four times eight equals thirty-two. Example 3. Toy Cars Let's solve one together. Ryan has seven boxes of toy cars. Each box has five cars. How many cars does Ryan have all together? We see each box, so we multiply. 7 times 5 equals 35. Ryan has 35 toy cars. Arrays help us see multiplication. Sometimes we can draw an array to understand multiplication. That means we line up objects in rows and columns. Example, 
If there are three rows with four apples each, that's three times four equals 12. Arrays helped you see multiplication instead of just memorizing. Example four, flowers. Let's try another one. There are nine vases. Each vase has three flowers. How many flowers are there in total? That's nine times three equals 27. There are 27 flowers all together. Practice round. Now it's your turn to try a few by yourself. Ready? There are six packs of crayons with 10 crayons in each pack. That's six times 10 equals 60 crayons. A farmer has eight baskets, each with nine apples. That's eight times nine equals 72 apples. There are four kids. Each kid has two balloons. That's four times two equals eight balloons. Check your work. Always check. Are the groups equal? Did the number get bigger? If yes, it's probably multiplication. And remember, multiplication is fast adding. Review. Let's review what we learned today. Multiplication means equal groups added together. Clue words are each, every, groups of, and rows of. Arrays help us picture multiplication. Always read carefully before solving. You did awesome today! Now you know how to solve multiplication word problems like a pro. Next time, we'll learn about division word problems, and they're all about sharing and grouping. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and keep learning with me, Lucas.